Yo, what's going on boys and girls? It's your boy Aqua Gaming back here with another one in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys a stronghold nightmare solo guide that will help you guys get through this no problem at all. So the first step, of course, like with any other video, you wanna get your damage up, your base damage, you wanna get your critical chance up, your critical damage, all that good stuff. And how you do that is you can actually polish your weapons, you can modify your guns and all that stuff, so that'll help you get your stats up. You can also buy you know, when you buy equipment, you can buy the good stats on them. Make sure you check the stats before you buy them. Just to ensure that you will get the stat that you want. So always pre-window um, shop is what they say when you go to the mall or something. Make sure you window shop on the equipment before you buy it. Because that's very critical to helping you with your stats, obviously. Like, as you see right here, I'm doing pretty well damage with the Fennec. And I really love the Fennec. I, I say in all my videos that I review these guns and stuff. But honestly, it's just the truth. Uh, I don't really like it for, you know, the damage-wise, even though it does really crazy damage because how my stats are. I wish it was doing some more damage, and in the future videos, I know it will be doing more damage. But what I run for my damage gun is the AK-15, even though the AK-47 is the most, uh, or, or, sorry, is the best uh, damage gun. But that still does not mean you should neglect all these other great guns, like the AK-15, the Fennec, the N249. Those are some other really great options. But overall, the reason why I do favorite the AK-15 is because I have a 6% critical damage and also I have a 19, a plus 19 armor piercing, I believe. So that plus the critical damage plus 6% really helps while dealing with these bosses. And definitely if you shoot them in their head because I do like 500 to 600 damage. But my base damage is around like 300, 350. And then when I get the critical damage, then I get normally like 500, I believe, or 600 damage on them. And it's really nice. It really helps out. Now, when I first joined this match, I was expecting it to just be a normal stronghold mission. And I was kind of expecting some help on this, but I just decided just to do a solo challenge version. And then I realized that this is a nightmare version because how damn long it was taking. And then I looked at the levels in the beginning. I'm like, oh shit, this is a little 50. I was like, okay, well, let's just do a nightmare video. You know, some other tips I have for you guys is to definitely dodge out of the uh, festering damage wave when they want to shoot the little darts at you because that will do a lot of fester damage if you don't have any percent up. And definitely since it's level 50, like you see on my health, they're actually doing a fuck ton of damage to me because I don't have any health per second regain or I don't have any festering uh, reduction chance. I think I do 10% and that's like it for real. But if you want to succeed within the festering damage reduction category, you would want at least like 25 to 30% on that. Any other t uh, type of tips, I'd do the health drone. I'd run the minigun, even though mine's about to break. I'd also make sure that you guys have up-to-date level on your armors, up-to-date guns. I see a lot of you guys in the comments saying that you guys don't do a lot of damage or that your rating isn't that high. And then you guys tell me that you only have like level 30 equipment level 30 weapons you guys barely have any stats so make sure that you're mindful of why you're not getting to where you want to be you know sometimes you have to take accountability and realize well maybe it's because you didn't actually do what's necessary to get the high rating or to do high damage and etc now i would like you guys to comment what stage you guys are on on the hold the line mission i got a new tutorial coming out for you guys tomorrow on how to get to level 30 plus floor on hold the line also comment what you need most help on rather that be rating rather that be how to get your drone up rather be how much gold that you need or how to get more gold any type of help that you guys need comment it down below and i'll either redirect you to a video that i already made or I will add you guys into my Discord that I made. And either me or one of my friends in the Discord, we can help you guys solve the issue that you're having out. Now, be mindful that your equipment is not broken. And if it is, make sure that you do repair it. Because I believe that something was broken in this video. Now noticing, um, I'm not really getting into that 600 damage critical chance or critical damage like I normally am. Maybe it's because I'm not fighting a boss. But normally I do hit that 500 to 600 damage with this AK-15. So make sure that you guys do have your equipment repaired. You guys do have some good stats. Or I would say really good stats. Make sure that you guys are polishing, modifying, all that good stuff. And you guys can also set tra a stat transfer. You can literally go into the market. You can look for better stats on even like level 30, level 40 stuff. And then you can stat transfer that stuff to your level 50 equipment if you did not know that. That will save you 
a lot of time trying to modify re-roll on the same equipment over and over just to get three good stats on each other you can literally find one that has um you can find equipment on the tra trade shop that has like uh, critical damage armor piercing and then energy per second and then you can just take that and throw it on your level 51 and that will do you a lot of justice as well now all of these tips that i've mentioned I've came up with them for a whole entire day. I sat down trying to figure out what is the best tips that I could give you guys here for free to play. And uh, these tips are honestly just the best ones that I came up with. And if you guys have anything more to add that I may have missed out on, feel free to comment it by all means to help out other people too. I'd say go for it. But if you guys did like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. If it helped you out, please comment, let me know. I'd appreciate it. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And peace out.